Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading guys. Let's see what your person doesn't share with you <laughs> with their hidden thoughts and emotions. Yes, we are diving into the dark side and I'm sorry to tell you, <laughs> don't eat the cookies because you know it's tinged with a little bit of bitterness. Yes, when we get triggered guys, we go into our shadows. So. Y'all know this reading should give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively, instinctively sense and know about the person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, check out the wild card. You can also check your other sign positions. I want to pull their energy, guys, and then I want to see your energy, but we're doing it from their perspective, guys. We are diving into their shadow, not yours. Yes. Let's jump in. This is for my Aquarius. Strongest energy forward, please. For my Aquarius. Strongest energy forward. Show us your energy. Talk to us. Oh, pop. We got one. That was soft and easy. We got two. Oh, so somebody is sitting around waiting for an answer or a response. Trying to get clear on something. Uh, they're not taking action towards us. We got number 30. Three energy that's a master teacher learning some lesson let's put it this way their higher self spirit guides are trying to get them into a lesson of probably not to chase or to get off your butt and chase a little bit mm -hmm. don't know it's personal and different for everyone guys but this person is waiting to hear from us mm -hmm. hear something from us get a response and answer to something Let's see your energy from their perspective. Pop. The person's energy is very soft. <laughs> no wonder it's coming in with the uh, sit down energy. Ooh, they got you in, in the cabaret, guys. Cabaret is about knowing when to exit the stage. Yeah, you'll see she's got her hands up going, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Yes. So, this person is not sure what's going on with you. Do you want to be uh, in the show with them or not? Waiting waiting to get clarity on that one. So, I got you probably a little bit on the fence or trying to exit the stage. Mm -hmm. Let's see how they're being triggered by this. We're going into the darker trigger emotions and thoughts, guys. Uh-huh. And like I said, don't don't eat the cookies. Y'all know it's laced with bitterness. <laughs> don't get triggered. These are their triggers, not yours. But sometimes, I mean, they can trigger on you and have some opinions, but they also may be very critical of self. This is for my Aquarius's person. First thing out, please. Talk to us. Hmm. Ooh, we got one obnoxious, unpleasant, repulsive, and annoying. They immediately, because they got you over here with your hands up going, no. They they think and are projecting that you feel like they're annoying and coming at you too much. Thus, the teacher lesson of sit down and allow things to unfold. Don't be chasing. A defensive, justify, justifying protecting ego and opposing so they do feel a little bit defensive and they'll put their guard up because they immediately come out when you think they're annoying or repulsive unpleasant so their defense goes up but their brain will automatically start justifying things let's see where it goes neurotic neurosis unstable and unbalanced now that can be them looking at their self in the mirror or it can be uh where where they start justifying uh why you got your hands up going no 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 <laughs> that you might be unstable they might be uh trying to confuse the signals body language they're getting from you if you're doing that hands up no back off energy they they might be trying to find excuses of why and they'll come up with i don't know other than you're just unstable you're sending me mixed messages when in reality you may not be. It's just them trying to figure it out. Coming in under obnoxious, we got justify. 
justifying and justify yeah blame and release blame and release oh, okay so they are t trying to figure your energy out and are you just playing games what you know what's the rules here i don't understand does your no actually mean no <laughs> are you saying maybe what then we've got a heart of stone emotionless cruel and heartless yeah um that's going to be them uh their darker thought of how you're coming across to them that you're cruel, heartless. You're not seeing how you're torturing them and tormenting them down deep inside. Draining, exhausting, taxing, and fatigued. So, yeah, on a mental, emotional level, it, just the fact that we've got the draining in this one up here, uh, waiting on that clock. <laughs> Uh, it, it's telling me this, you're on this person's mind a lot, a lot. They're trying to figure out, and they're wearing themselves out mentally and emotionally trying to figure out, are you really saying no to me? Or is it a maybe? Or what? Yeah. And you could have already made yourself clear that it's a definite no, and there's a chance you're just not sure, and you're putting off that... Well, maybe, Bob, let's slow down, let's let's take this slower kind of energy. And they're just, yeah, the brain's running amok with it, and they're being triggered in the shadows, uh, subconscious, the darker shadows of it. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, okay. Let's come in on obnoxious, unpleasant, you think I'm annoying? Four of swords, taking care of yourself. Hmm. The Four of Swords energy. <laughs> Ooh. It's rest, recovery, quiet down. Take a rest in the battle. Let's put it this way. Trying to get clarity. This person is definitely trying to get clarity. But you, uh, you, it's, it's, it's almost like your energy saying to them, "We slow down a little bit. Don't come on so strong here. Let's get to know each other. That kind of thing." World card, cycles of success. Now, so, world card is this person is putting something behind them. They are going into a new phase of their life. And they may feel shaky, a little bit shaky, and be looking for a familiar. If they've come out of a relationship, a committed relationship, or they just recently, you know, Got out of a, you know, something that, you know, connection that didn't work. They're looking for some kind of comfort of something that feels familiar. It would be that they felt safer being in the connection and they feel like they should still be in the connection. So it might have them coming in a little too quick at us. Defensiveness, justifying things, protecting their ego. Mm, their heart's overriding their logic. They're not thinking straight. Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. It's romantic, it's dreamy, but it goes, it, your logic just goes out the window uh, with that energy. And Death card burying the past. So yeah, this person most definitely is feeling wounded i'm also picking up then like a nine of wands energy the wounded warrior of uh, battling in love uh, trying to find the one and they've been hurt a lot mm -hmm. they're still carrying the energy from the past and whatever they transitioned out recently and something in you has clicked and triggered in them that you feel um familiar it's it's like let me stay in my comfort zone but you might be recognizing they're coming at you a little too quick so you're putting up your hands going slow down slow down i'm, I'm not someone to compare to you know to the past stuff like that neurotic unbalanced we've got a five of swords doing what is best for you Ooh, yeah. Mm. Five of Swords is a card of feeling defeated, uh, feeling small. Uh, it's it's a card of where when we're in the shadow side of it, guys. It, it's it talks about constructive criticism, others giving you you know trying to be, you know give you advice, uh, not not to attack you, make you feel bad, but real advice to help you um, grow. And expand to reach your, you know, your higher 
potential. Uh, but when it's in the shadow, we'll, ta we'll take anything anyone says or insinuates. Insinuation is body language, guys, you know, uh, as um, an attack on our character instead of uh, it being something helpful. So, yeah, and what are they doing? You're, you're being cruel with your words. You're unbalanced, unstable. Temperance, balance, and balance of energies. So, yeah, they, they keep, that temperance card is going to ping to the justifying on these two cards. Of rationalizing and reasoning, trying to figure out what's, what's the real meaning behind what you're saying and doing. Let's come down to excuses and blame. Release sin over here. Judgment awakening. Mm-hmm. One more here. Four pentacles longing. Mm -hmm. Waking up. Mm, blaming and excuses. Making excuses. Because they are in that dreamy state with that knight of cups. Energy of uh, overriding the realistic logic of things. Uh, because the heart just keeps pushing them into longing and they don't want to let go. Emotionless. Cruel and heartless. Just justice ooh. assessing past actions the fairness of something they uh, they do feel like it's not fair to them uh-huh and three of pentacles accolades 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 however you say it guys three of pentacles is about the blueprint but they also want to get recognition they want you to see what Three, three Pentacles is blueprint, teamwork, working together, but it's also, if you're on the team, you want some of your team members to recognize you're putting in effort here. Am I doing a good job or not? They want some kind of recognition, what, that you're, you're coming across as heartless and cruel, hurting their feelings, so they do want to be seen that this doesn't feel good. The Justice card. Mm -hmm. You're not treating me well. Uh, you're cutting me up. Let's put it that way. The Five of Swords. Draining, exhausting, taxing, fatigue. We've got two pentacles uh, leaving them sitting on the fence in the fog of all things, guys. It's foggy. Not clear about anything. And a page of wands energy. Good news is coming. Uh, even though it's foggy and stuff, they keep fogging over logic. And logic may be that you are giving them a definite you know, no, no, sorry, no. But they all keep justifying, making excuses and twisting it around of your no, maybe, and maybe. Yeah, is that no for now, but maybe in the future? That kind of thing, holding out hope. Uh, looking for, um, anticipating. There's uncertainty with our page of wands. It's the, the adventurer, the love of adventure, but he's also a visionary, what's called a visionary. He'll always hold out the optimism of, ooh, what if, let's find out, and ta start taking action. So, they go from sit down, not taking action, to let's try again, let's reach out to him again. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get some messages. I'm going to pull the trigger cards back to the top and let your person... Speak on each trigger they got. So we got obnoxious, defensive. What else? Justifying. Defensive is also justifying too. Then we've got stone heart. And draining, taxing mentally and emotionally. Wearing myself out trying to figure out what's what. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get on talking. Let's move these decks aside. This is for my Aquarius person. Aquarius person. Let's talk on obnoxious. What do you want to say about obnoxious, unpleasant, repulsive? Are you finding me unpleasant and repulsive? I think you are. Ooh. This has been the devastation of my soul. Mm-hmm. Being, be vulnerable with me. I want to know and hear your thoughts and feelings, your truths. Don't just be nice to me. Tell me straight up. And they might not be able to hear you because they got some triggers going on. When you do be like, you know, yes, you're getting annoying. <laughs> They'd be like, 
Are you sure? <laughs> I want to be mad at you. I want to be mad at you. This is not what I want. Yeah. Let's move over to defensive and justifying, project, protecting. Why do I want to say projecting the ego? It's good. <laughs> but protecting the ego. Uh -huh. Miserable behind the scenes. Mm. I had hoped that you would have never found out. Keep talking. Being in love is something deeper. I couldn't face you. Mm, let's move over to the neurotic, unstable. Is it you or is it me? <laughs> kind of thing. I don't want to need you. No way, shape, or form could I ever measure up. I won't blame you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the justifying excuses. Blame and release. I feel like I have nothing to contribute to this relationship. My fingers don't want to work, y'all. In pursuit of the party lifestyle. Uh-oh, somebody's... Uh, in pursuit of the party lifestyle. It felt like I was under some kind of spell. Ow. That may be one of the reasons that we got our hands up going, I don't know about this. Because, I mean, I'm picking this up as they ha were or have been for a minute in pursuit of the party lifestyle. Feeling like they were under some kind of spell. We are all just, we are all lost just looking for some place or someone to call home. Our connection is rare and magical. I'm so lucky to have found you even if it doesn't last forever. So many regrets. Mm. Let's come in on that cold Cold heart. Mm -hmm, you're being cruel. Heartless and cruel sometimes. I feel like you're just trying to be cruel to me. Don't play innocence. Yes, we're getting the tinge of bitterness now. Don't eat the cookie, guys. Put it down. What else? There are things I'm ready to tell you. I'm learning that love cannot be forced. Ooh, the sit down, uh, master teacher lesson they're learning can't force it the silence is maddening but i can see myself more clearly now the silence guys that's sitting in silence waiting waiting mm -hmm. i like the fact that they're starting to wake up and see some of their own triggers let's go ahead and move them over into where they get drained mentally emotionally drained exhausted Taxing. This is taxing on my emotions and mental state. Ow, trying to cope. Trying to cope. Second guessing everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it a no or did you mean no for now or is there a possibility for maybe in the future? Ooh, are we seeing it? Second guessing. This is really hard for me. Mm-hmm. Help me, please. No. Oh. It's hard for me to have respect for anyone and that lets me disrespect them. Flip the energy on that, guys, because this is something they're thinking in their head because they have allowed, they feel like they have allowed others to disrespect them um, and that they don't have healthy boundaries, so it's hard for others to respect them because they don't, they didn't set healthy boundaries. Hopefully that makes sense to you. What else? I wish I could just forget all this. Mm. Wow. Look, 
Aquarius, let's go ahead and get your lover's oracles. Let me get the deck up here. Let's close y'all with a lover's oracle. That popped quick. And <laughs> it stood up straight and pretty. Time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. Wow. Guys, that's all I have for us. Sending you love and light. Bless be.